guys to on web security and there's one more thing uh, I think uh, is important to teach all right and this is a simple act of adding an index.php file in every folder okay so let me explain the problem so that you understand why we actually need to do this so this is my website here and if I uh, normal users will just browse the website as it is but some people become curious so for example if I go to this image and simply right click on the image and say view image info all right so if I view the image info it's going to show me the path where this image actually is okay which is this one right here so if I right click on this image and copy that let me close that and then paste in the link I can just say paste and go of course I get the actual image that is on the hard drive now the interesting thing is this if I remove because here it's showing me exactly the path to the actual file now if I remove the actual file at the end and simply leave the folder here guess what happens if I click there and just like that now i'm browsing my website i'm browsing this website uh, for example my hacker i'm browsing this website just like i'm browsing my computer through folders you see i can go to the parent directory i can go to i can click here there's a folder in here and you see there are all these images in here and i can go back to the parent directory just like in a computer so imagine if all these uh, actual php files let me actually do that and go to uh, my book in uploads here right there so i can have a file here let's say i have um, let me simply copy one of these class files which is a, a very important file let me go back here and put it in the uploads folder and then if i refresh uh where is that parent directory yes so now you can see I have this file, the connect.php, showing right there. And if I click here, uh, the file, thankfully, it's actually a PHP file. So it shows up empty because uh, even though it's got data, what happens is the server is designed to run all PHP files automatically before serving them to the user. So instead of simply giving the user the file, because it has this dot php at the end it has to run before it's given so this is why it's important not to save uh, sensitive information as text files on your uh, server always 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 save anything sensitive as a dot php file so you can put some plain text in there that's fine just make sure it's dot php so that in case someone wants to get that file it's just going to run like a normal PHP file. Okay, so on the other hand, if I, for example, I had some text documents in here, let's say I had uh, I had a, a thing with passwords in here, all right? Something like this. So this is a text document uh, opened with Notepad. And let's say there's a password in here. Let me save that. And then let's go back here. And now the, the hacker can actually see this now the difference here is that if i click on the text file I actually get the text uh, from the text file onto my browser just like that if i go back and click on the connect.php it's empty even though the actual file is not empty if i drag this to my text editor you see that it's not empty but because this is php the server is going to run this as php now if the same file i had saved it as a txt file for example or some other extension if somebody uh let me go back here and click here oh i have to refresh okay so now it's connected txt and then you see now somebody can be browsing all the code from my uh, website which is a huge security risk so the important thing to take from this is that never save any uh, sensitive information as text files that's number one and then number two we've noticed that uh, 
every time there's a PHP file, it simply runs. Now, notice uh, something else here. Let me go back to this and refresh. So here, the hacker is actually going through my uh, files and can easily click on any of these files and open them one by one instead of using the website the normal way. So let's say you had music or MP3 files on your folder. Uh, the user can simply uh, go through them like this, which is a huge security risk. Another thing is, uh, let me go back to the parent directory, which is actually a website. Okay, uh, and if I go to the timeline, where is the timeline? Or the profile, I mean. Let's go to the profile, there we go. So now this uh, image is in a different folder, so I can go as well and say view uh, image info, copy that, and paste and go, and there we go. And now as I did there, I can remove the actual file. And then now I can see some other images over here that are stored on the website. So as you've noticed, this is a, a big security risk. Now watch what happens when I remove all this and go to the folder, my book, which is the original folder of the website. So the moment I do this, the website actually loads. It doesn't show me the contents of the directory, but it loads. So why does it do this? The reason is because in this original folder, there's a index.php page, which is this one right here. So all web servers are designed to look for a page that says index.php or home.php and load that file so that even if you don't actually specify it at the end there, it's still going to be loaded. So we can use this to our advantage by going to, let's say, let me go to this uploads folder. And in here, I can simply create a file called index.php for security reasons. Okay, let me remove the txt extension at the end. It's just index.php. I won't put anything inside this file. It's going to be empty. Okay, but watch what happens now when I try that same trick again. Uh, let me go to the profile page. So I go back and view the image info and copy that info paste and go and I get this image now look what happens when I try to go to and instead of viewing my page I see an empty space because the PHP file has actually been loaded so if I say some text I type some text in there and when I do this, you see that there's some text there because it's assuming that you want to load this thing. So instead of putting anything in there, you can simply write something like access denied or whatever it is, or simply leave it uh, empty like this. So what you need to take away from this is that every folder on your website should have an empty index.php. So I can copy this index.php to the images folder as well there to make sure that no one can browse this at their leisure and there and also in this folder I can paste it there now in order to create this file you can simply because if you remember this uh, folder was created by the website itself so you can go in and put the index.php file in every uh, folder because some folders are created by the website itself. So we can easily create, um, uh, what's this? A, a function to create these files automatically as soon as a folder is created. So every time you create a folder, you can create a file. To create a file is very, very simple, nothing major. What you need to do is simply say, at the top here, you can just say, you need some data, first of all. So we want to put some empty data like this. Uh, actually, let's do this in um, where the uploading actually happens. So let's go to the class that is responsible for this. So let me go up here. Uh, the image class, I presume, isn't it? The post class, I think. 
So yes, this is the one that uh, actually creates this uploads file folder and so on and so on. So it creates a folder here, create folder and make directory. Now these are permissions that we are added to this. Now, as soon as we create the folder itself, we are supposed to add an empty, uh, an empty file in there. So to do that is very simple. Okay. This should only happen if the folder does not exist. And once we create the folder, then we put the file in there. So let me put a line down here, which says something like, uh, we are going to use file put contents. Now, file put contents will handle everything. Uh, we just need to give it the file name and the data. So our file name is going to be the folder, of course, because we are following that folder. And then we concatenate a file name. Now the file name is index dot uh, index dot php. Okay, like so, and then the comma. And then the data is just going to be an empty string like so because we don't want to put anything in there now if we look at folder it already has the slash at the end so it's convenient because we'll have index.php at the end there and so on so this is all you need to do meaning that uh, in this folder there's going to be automatically an index.php file once it is created all right so that's one more trick for you in order to make your website more secure, I'm going to see you